chicken food that I prefer to use comes in these bags. They're sturdy and pretty waterproof, although they've got a bit of a woven appearance to them. I accumulate quite a few of them and I'm always trying to think of ways to reuse the bags. I've got lots of ideas and I'll share some of those with you in a later video. But today I want to show you how to turn this into a very handy waterproof, muckproof gardening apron for wearing around the garden and in your chicken run. The bags have got this cute picture of chickens on the front, so I wanted to make the most of that. So since I want to see the picture twice, I need two bags. If you didn't care about that, you could easily make this with just one bag. Pretty much all you need, apart from empty feed bags, is some duct tape. The bags are much longer than I need, since I'm going to use two of them. So I'll just cut the bottom off and roughly split them up the side to make a flat sheet. The picture is about the right width for my apron, so I'll cut down each side of it. Then finish cutting out this picture. I don't need to leave much margin above or below this piece because it's going to be the pocket. I already cut the other bag to make the top of the apron and I left that bit a bit longer. And I curved the top margin just to be fancy. Put the two pieces together so that one is right way up and face up and the other is face down and upside down. Then tape them together with a piece of tape on each side. This seam doesn't show and I was running short of silver duct tape so I used brown packing tape but duct tape is better. If you can find duct tape in fancy colours that would be even better but all I had was silver grey. So now check that the two pieces are the right way up so that when the top is facing outward and right way up, the bottom part will fold up and make the pocket with the picture the right way up too. Now is a good time to check the size and length for the finished apron. Before we make the pocket, I'll just add a strip of tape to the top edge of the pocket. That will make a nice, firm and smooth edge to slide things in and out of the pocket. I put the tape half on the edge so I could fold it over the top. There. A nice smooth edge. Now fold up the bottom part to the right depth to make the pocket and get ready to tape the front and back sides together. But just put the tape on one part first and then tape the other side before you fold the tape over to stick the front and back together. That's just easier than struggling to put the second piece of tape on when the first side is no longer flat. Then you can fold up the pocket and stick the front and back together. And the major construction is done. 
Now I could have made the neck loop from a strip of the bag, but I made it out of duct tape instead because that makes a really flexible and comfortable loop to put around my neck. I cut two lengths of duct tape and stuck them together offset along their length so that I could fold each strip in half lengthwise over the other piece. Then fold the other strip over the first one. I'm not sure that's very clear, so here is a demonstration using a short piece. The two strips are stuck together face to face, but offset lengthwise. Then you fold one piece over the other, and the second piece down over the first. So you have a piece of tape that's strong and flexible to make a comfortable loop. So how long do I want it? Put the loop around my neck and hold the apron in place at about the right height. Hold each end of the neck loop in place and check that the whole thing will go over my head easily. Then that's the length of neck loop that I want. So I can cut off the excess. Just stick the neck loop into place at the top of the apron with a couple of small strips of tape each side. There, we're nearly done. Now I need some waist ties. I want something that will be easy to tie and untie, so I'm going to use some of this garden tie. It's like a long strip of t-shirt material, a bit stretchy. Check where my waist is, because that's where I want the waist ties to be attached to the apron. Right there. The garden tie material rolls itself into a tube, but it's actually a flat strip so I can stick it down onto the apron. And one for the other side. Flatten out the tube of material, hold it in place and stick it down. And that's it, we're done. My garden apron that slips over my head and ties with the stretchy ties a really big pocket. And pictures of chickens. Okay, so it's not high fashion, but it was fun to make and I hope it will be practical and you can make it too. Do let me know in the comments if you make an apron or something similar out of your chicken feed bags. I'll be back with lots more ideas about how to use up these empty feed bags. So please subscribe, hit the notification button, and as always, thanks for watching.